If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own first before listening on. The key concept here is that when the electron enters the region between the plates, so right about here, it's going to experience an electric force that will be pushing down on the electron. And we can label that force Fe. And we know that an electric force acting on a charged particle is equal to the magnitude of the charge times the electric field. Now, we also know that electric field is equal to the potential difference divided by the plate separation. So we can actually replace E in the electric force equation with delta V over delta D. And the question gives us the value for delta V, which is the potential difference between the plates. That's equal to 25 volts. And then the plate separation is equal to 5 centimeters. So what we'll do is plug in the charge of the electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs, times the potential difference of 25 volts, and then divide that by the plate separation. Let's make sure that we change that into meters by multiplying by 10 to the minus 2. And when we do this, we get 8 times 10 to the minus 17th newtons. And so this is the electric force that's acting on the electron. Now, of course, Newton's second law tells us that if there is a net force on an object, we can set that equal to the mass times the acceleration. We know the net force on the electron is the 8 times 10 to the minus 17th newtons. The mass of the electron is a known value as well. It's 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms, roughly and then we multiply that by the acceleration. We can divide both sides of this equation by the mass in order to get the acceleration. And when we do that, we can see that the acceleration is equal to approximately 8.78 times 10 to the 13th meters per second squared. And so this is the acceleration acting on the electron as it travels between the plates. And let's keep that in mind. We will next basically analyze the question as a kinematics type of question. And what we'll do is plug in the initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, displacement, and time for the horizontal and vertical directions. And of course, horizontal would be in the left-right direction and vertical is up and down. Now, when the electron enters the plate area, we know its initial velocity is pointing in the horizontal direction. It's moving to the right. And that value is 3 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. So we can plug that in for the initial velocity in the horizontal direction. Notice in the vertical direction, initially it's not moving at all. And so the velocity would be 0 meters per second initially. Now as the electron travels between the plates, we can see that it travels a horizontal distance of 10 centimeters, which is equal to 0.10 meters. And so for the displacement in the horizontal direction, we can plug in 0.10 meters. Now, as for the acceleration, we noted there was a downward acceleration, and that would be in the vertical direction. So we can take the value that we discovered earlier, 8.78 times 10 to the 13th, and plug that in for the vertical. There is no acceleration in the horizontal direction. Now, to get the time, we can note in the horizontal direction that the displacement is equal to the initial velocity times the time plus one half times acceleration times time squared. As noted, the acceleration is zero, so that's actually going to take away that term right there. And so if we plug in the displacement in the horizontal direction as well as the initial velocity, we're going to be able to solve for the time. So you can divide both sides of that equation by the three times 10 to the six. And when you do that, you should get about 3.33 times 10 to the negative 8 seconds. And that's going to be the same time in the vertical direction as well. And so now that we have that time, we're going to be able to calculate the displacement in the vertical direction. And to do that, we can use this equation from kinematics, where we have the displacement equaling the initial velocity times the time plus 1 half at squared. It's the same equation. Now, remember, initially the velocity is 0 in the vertical direction. So that's going to knock out this term. And so then we can plug in the acceleration as well as the time. 
Don't forget to square the time, and when you compute this displacement, you should get about 0 0.0488, and that'll be in meters. If you want, you can move the decimal over twice to the right to get 4.88 centimeters. So this would be the correct answer for the downward deflection. Basically what that means is as this electron moves in this path right here, it's going to have a vertical displacement equal to 4.88 centimeters. As far as the angle is concerned, because this displacement is directed straight down, the angle would be that angle right there, and that would be a 270 degree angle.